Hello from London. As you can tell from my background, it's not the normal surroundings. I'm here at London in VidCon 2019, but today I want to talk to you about the Samsung Galaxy One UI update and the game launcher. So many people are upset about the settings, things have changed, there's no longer performance settings, it's all there. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the game launcher and let's do that right now. <laughs> Right, this is the game launcher. If you do not have it, don't panic. You simply have to enable it. Go into settings, scroll down until you're going to see something called advanced features. In the advanced features, scroll down until you see the game launcher and simply enable it. Now, once you enable it, you're going to add it to your home screen and there it will be. Okay, let's launch it. And here you will now see all your apps, all your games, or I should say, which are all neatly kept into one location. Tap on the little guy at the top and there it is, I've got six games and they've been neatly classified into various types of games. Now, if I scroll down, I'm going to be able to see the types of games that I have. There they are. And if I scroll up, what I'm going to see is more games. Now, this is pretty clever, it's kind of divided into categories. My internet in this hotel is a little bit slow, so please forgive the loading time. You press on the little magnifying glass at the top and you can search for specific games and they've got these things called hashtags so like hashtag comedy this is going to be all the comedy games didn't know that was such a thing either don't worry alrighty let's get back into the game launcher itself and this time what we're going to do is the three little dots at the top right hand side and we're going to start by going through that sort games well sort games well bring it up a little bit closer sort games by recently installed games or by alphabetical order okay fairly self-explanatory there let's go back into settings and this time we're going to click on announcements i have no idea what this is supposed to do i've never seen an announcement here ever back into settings game launcher settings and hide games on home and apps okay this is pretty cool if you enable that, you will see that you won't see any game icons anywhere. Not on your app drawer, not on your home screens. Okay, let's launch the game launcher again. And this time, let's disable that. And there we go. All the games are back there. I don't like that. Games are all over the place. I want it nice and neat. So I'm going to go back there and re-enable it, keeping everything nice and hidden. Save mobile data. Some of the games actually do use data to download your scores, your latest updates, etc. So you can enable or disable that. App notification, again, no idea what that's supposed to do. Marketing information, not sure why you would enable that, but it's there in case you do want marketing gumph to appear on your screen. Okay, those are the two up settings. At the bottom, two more important icons. We're gonna start with the one on the far right. Essentially, this is where your performance settings are. The things that was missing, that used to be under power, under battery options, is now right here within the game launcher and you can say what kind of power you want to dedicate to your games. Now, you can also create individual settings per game. So we enable that. Let's just choose one. Let's just choose, I don't know, Word 2. Let's go into that. And on Word 2, we're going to have the performance set to kind of the middle option. And we're going to have low resolution. And the frame per second is going to be that. So let's see what that saves as. And there it is. You can see it's slightly colored, slightly different to the other ones. So I know I've got a custom settings. In fact, in the app itself, the icon changes, knowing that you do have some custom settings. Right. On the left hand side, you've got the mute button. This mutes your game noise, not your phone, just your games. So in case you're playing games when you're not supposed to, well, that's how you do it. So now that we've spoken about the settings, let's go into the game itself and then from the bottom you swipe up and that's how you bring the game tools options. There it is. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings, calls and notification. You can enable the minimize call notification and do not display notifications at all. Go into the block during the game, you can block Bixby, home screen edge panel all those things that are going to basically disturb your gameplay you can enable or disable them as you see fit so allowing you to be immersive in the game and nothing's going to bug you whilst you are trying to play now let's move on onto the other options what i do like is the screenshot so if you're playing your game you want to take a screenshot you can actually simply do that and here is the how to record a game option press the recorder and whatever's playing on the screen now will be saved in fact there it is in the gallery let's go into that quickly subway surf so basically it's the name of the game there's the screenshot and here is the video clip now what's pretty cool is that you go into the video clip itself and allows you to edit straight away click on the little scissors you can trim it you can 
cut it up, make a shorter little video clip from your main game. And before you save it, you can actually have an option to change the resolution from HD to SD in case you want to do that, and then you can press the save button. Alrighty, back into the game we go, press the game tool options again. This time let's go into the settings, let's explore that. So a whole bunch of things to know about here. Firstly, the shortcuts. So you can see on the very right hand side, the shortcut is to screen touch lock, but I can change it, make it my screenshot, my record button, and it will change the icon on the right hand side. So very, very quick. I like to leave it as record if I want to record my screen, it's really, really available right there. Okay, so after choosing the screen resolution, what I can do is go to the record option. Now this is pretty cool, I must say. It uses the phone's front facing camera to take a picture of you or a video clip as you're playing the game and it superimposes that on top of the game. All right, let me show you what that looks like. It's actually pretty fun to do. So I made the image really, really large. You can see it. Let's fire up the game. Remember, you've got to be in recording mode for this to work. And there is me. Hello, left and right. Now I can also move my head around the screen so it doesn't disturb the game play itself. And you can see I'm independent of the game. Well, not that I'm very good at this game. Now, what's also pretty cool is when you go into the settings, it actually chooses the audio source. It can be the game audio source or the phone's microphone. So you can actually have a bit of a reaction thing going on as you're playing the game and even set it to HD at 1080p. Now, one thing you cannot record and then leave the game and expect it to carry on recording the screen. For that, you need an external app to do that. So there it is. All the settings are still there. You just got to know where to look. Some really cool changes have been made. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. If you're new here, it's normally not this crazy. Hit the head below to subscribe. Check out some of these other cool videos which are down here. And I'll see you guys on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.